All right, thanks so much, Patrick. Well, the 65th anniversary of D-Day is just days away, and concerns continue to surface about the fate of the financially challenged D-Day Memorial in Bedford. It costs $2.2 million each year for upkeep, and visitors only bring in about $600,000. The rest comes from donations. Foundation President Dr. William McIntosh says it would take a $32 million endowment to guarantee its long-term existence, but Congressman Perriello proposed another solution today. He introduced a bill in the House that would bring the National D-Day Memorial under the National Park Service's supervision. Scott Lehman talked to Perriello about the bill and the impact it would have on the memorial. As the D-Day Memorial wobbles financially, there's now a proposal to let Uncle Sam help it back to its feet. We'd like it to be connected uh, perhaps even to the World War II monument on the mall so that people come, they see that, and folks who are World War II vets or fans of World War II will say, oh, I, I, now I hear about this other thing, this D-Day Memorial. In a phone interview from his desk in Washington, Congressman Tom Perriello said, no, the D-Day Memorial's not moving to D.C., but it might use the Capitol for help. I think we want to see this as really a partner memorial to the World War II Memorial itself. From the House floor Wednesday, Perriello asked his colleagues to support a bill making the D-Day Memorial a national park, meaning the U.S. government would control it. The process starts with the Obama administration studying the memorial to make sure it meets all the specs to become a national park. If so, Perriello and others feel it would stop the financial bleeding, keep the creditors from calling, and most importantly, keep the doors open. Not just because, you know, then it will be managed and funded that way, but also because, you know, it should be marketed really to the whole country. So Perriello wants to turn the National D-Day Memorial truly national. An easy sell here in Virginia. Now it's up to the freshman congressman to find more buyers, that's votes, in other states. In Roanoke, Scott Lehman, Fox 21, 27, 10 o'clock news. Tom Perriello said his staffers will begin looking for co-sponsors for the bill and the House's Natural Resources Committee will be the first to consider it. Back at home at Pembroke, babysitter.